Ladies and gentlemen, please have your tickets ready. Hello and welcome to a look at the Glossop line for Train Wealth 3 with me, Richard, aka Dadrail. If this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then I am a freight train driver and former passenger train driver based in the southeast of England. All the views and opinions expressed within this video are solely my own, may not reflect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with, and I have to tell you that Dovetail Games have given me the key for this route completely free of charge. However, all the views and opinions are my own. So, without further ado, let's press the button. Let's get into the Glossop line and the On Guard scenario. Something that has been hotly requested. Lots of people have asked for this. Lots of people have wanted it. Dovetail Games have listened and have delivered it. Sort of. So, one of the scenarios that we can do on the new Glossop line is to guard the Class 323 and actually go through and check tickets on it. So we are going to have a playthrough of this scenario. It's only about 20 minutes long and let's see what they've done with it. On guard. Today you will be taking on the role of a train guard on board a service for Manchester. A lovely time of day for it as well. Really liking the lighting there. Uh, the train you will be working will be arriving shortly. Board the train and take over as guards. We are currently at Guide Bridge Station. Ah, there's our train coming in there. No CIS, but we'll let them off. Wait for the train to arrive. Hello, driver. Sixty six there as well at the back. <laughs> Let's go and watch the sixty six. Move to the rear cab. Need to spot the sixty six first though. Okay, right, what are we doing? Move to the rear cab. Your duties as a guard include operating the doors of the train, taking passenger tickets and keeping passengers safe on their journey. Insert the door key. Stand on the platform and wait for passengers to board the train. We can start preparing for departure once the doors are clear of any passengers or blockages. Load passengers. Stand on the platform and wait for passengers to board. Ah, oh, so we do have to stand in a very specific place in order for that to trigger. We are now ready to depart. Close all passenger doors before closing your cab door. Once done, signal to the driver that the train is ready to depart by pressing the signal buzzer twice. Okay, we've got a green signal. Everybody's clear of the doors. We get back in the cab. Doors close button. Back onto the platform. So we want to check all the doors have closed. We're checking the body side indicator lights have extinguished. These two have. This one won't because we still have our door open. Everyone is clear. We've got a green signal. Into the cab. Cab door shut. And here we go. Let's do this. Oh, we even get it back from the driver. Two on the buzzer. You will need to check the tickets of passengers who have boarded the train. Decide if their tickets are valid or not by comparing the date and destination on the ticket with today's date and the service destinations. Okay, tickets please! Ah, okay, remove door key. Right. Uh, wait, check passenger tickets before the train reaches the next stop. Hello everybody, tickets please. Ask to see tickets. Today's date is the 30th of the 10th. Next stop, Gorton, Ashbury, Ardwick, Manchester, Piccadilly. From Guidebridge to Gorton. Um, perfect, thank you. So I think we're only checking the tickets of the passengers who are kind of... Um, they've got the objective circle around them. There we go. Ask to see ticket. Guidebridge to Manchester, Piccadilly, 30th of October. Thank you. Oh, hello. What's going on with the lighting? <laughs> it's a little bit weird. 
anybody need their ticket checked? It's a very busy train. Hello, sir. Uh, guide bridge to Gorton, 5th of October. Oh, that's not valid. Sorry, this isn't valid on this train. You'll need to buy a new ticket or get off at the next stop. This almost feels a little bit like um, Great British Railways on Roblox. I don't know if anyone's played that. It almost feels a little bit like that to me. Um, 30 of October, Guy Bridge to Aldwick. All good, thank you. Anybody else? Any more for any more? We can say hello to the driver. Hello, driver. Uh, interestingly, the driver apparently has two and a half bar of braking, but we're not slowing down. That's rather worrying. Uh, so let's return to the back cab. It is a very busy train. I've left all the interconnecting doors open as well, which is a very inconsiderate thing to do. But we are slowing down, okay. Uh, we can sit on the second man seat, or second person seat, that should be. I do like the lighting and looking out the back. It gives us a really unique perspective. Ah, so we're coming into the station now. Lovely. So I'm going to guess we're going to put the guard's key in. Open the cab door. Check we're all on the platform which we are. Open the passenger doors. All aboard, please. It's a shame we don't have the working um, CIS screens. It'd be really nice to see kind of what service this is um, and what time we are actually due to leave. It's very specific with the locations of where you have to be standing. Move to the rear cab. Close the doors. Green signal, everybody's clear. Close the doors. Green signal, body side indicator lights are off, train is clear. And two on the buzzer. Oh. <laughs> I kind of wish there was some way to poke your head out the window. Yeah, I mean, you can't even go into external view when you're standing up, but it'd be really nice if there was some way to poke your head out the window so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, the rule book actually says that the guard must remain at the dispatch point until the train has fully left the station as well. So let's close that window, key out, and go and check some tickets. So this does feel very great British railways on Roblox. It feels very, very much like that. The next station is nobody knows. Thirtieth uh, of October, Gorton to Ashbury. Your ticket is valid. Thank you very much. Um, what happens if we tell someone their ticket's valid when it's not? So today's the thirtieth of October. There was only valid till the twenty-sixth. Um, nothing. Okay. Oh, he's got a dovetail games top on. I like that. It sounds like we're slowing down and we haven't checked all the tickets yet, so... There's a lot of fair evasion on this line. Wow. And because of the way the scenario objectives work, it, it probably won't let me open the doors or do anything until I've completed all the ticket checks. 
There is a lot of ticketless travel on this line. Okay, the CIS passenger information kind of does work. This is Guide Bridge. It's not Guide Bridge. We started at Guide Bridge. No, I think the passenger information system is, is definitely broken. Okay, door key in. Open the door. We are free cars. We are all on the platform. Stand on the platform and wait for people to board. I kind of feel like we need a whistle as well. That would be pretty cool if you had a whistle that you could you could blow. We definitely need a whistle. That person's a little bit close there. Oh, <laughs> there's a person too close to the platform edge. Ask them to move before we depart. Let's do it politely. Excuse me, would you mind moving away from the train? You work for Dovetail Games? You really should know better. Straight... <laughs> It's not even a real person, it's a ghost. <laughs> okay, right, green signal, everyone's clear. Close the doors. Green signal, doors closed, bill lights are out. Let's close our door. There we go. And let's have a play with a buzzer. <laughs> Remove the door key. Uh, can we stop the train though? No, we can't. That doesn't work. So we're remaining at dispatch point until we are completely out the platform. Just in case we see anything untoward. Not that we can stop the train because the buzzer doesn't do much. Okay. Remove the door key. Oh, we got to go for a little walk again. Check some tickets. Hello. Um, <laughs> there is a lot of ticketless travel on this train. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Good evening. Good morning, even. Um, yeah, no, sorry. Your your ticket is also not valid. Um, hello, how are you? Yes, your ticket is valid. Perfect, thank you. Uh, your ticket is also valid. Thank you. Do we have anyone else to check? It looks like we're all good. Oh no, I've missed someone here. Uh, all good, thank you very much. It's it's an interesting game mechanic. Oh, move to the rear cab. We're running. If anybody's ever run up on one of these trains and you're the size of me, you you whack yourself on these seats. You kind of have to do a bit of a shuffle as you walk through them in real life. Okay, let's close that. Door key in. Platform's on the offside. Oh, interesting. Uh, we are all on the platform. So this is uh, Ardwick, isn't it, I think, this station. So you can't quite see our signal. We can see the E there. 
Uh, in reality, I'd expect there to be an off indicator or banner repeater on the platform. But if we were guarding this train for real and we couldn't see the starting signal... Oh, that's not good. Just looking at the 158 over there. Uh, if we were guarding this train for real and we couldn't see the starting signal, um, we'd be buzzing up the driver on the cab to cab. Bill lights off, got the signal, probably. <laughs> Staying at the dispatch point. Again, I wish we had some way of looking out the window. That that would be pretty cool. Until we are fully out the platform. So when I originally passed out as a passenger train driver, um, you had to pass out as a guard as well. So although we didn't actually do any like commercial duties, ticket checking or anything, we done the, the, the ding ding and the doors and everything, you had to be competent in that um, in order to pass out as a driver. Okay, any unchecked tickets please ladies and gentlemen, any unchecked tickets, tickets please, any unchecked tickets. Nobody in that coach, any unchecked tickets please. We have one. Any unchecked tickets? Hello, can I check your ticket, please? Perfect, thank you very much. The, the whole way this works does feel very much like Great British Railways on Roblox. Thank you very much. Uh, all good, thank you very much. CIS doesn't work though. CIS or PIS? I think it's PIS. CIS is, is the platform system, customer information system, CIS. And PIS is the on-board systems, the passenger information system. Yeah, see, now you know. You do not have permission to drive this service. Oh, okay, I'll sit on the other side then. I mean, credit where credit's due. That is a beautiful looking scene. That that does look lovely. Actually, that looks really nice. So, guys, guarding. I like the way the seat pops up as you stand up. That's quite nice. Um, it's an interesting game mechanic and. One, I think it's got potential. Um, I think it gets quite boring quite quickly. It's quite repetitive, but it all depends on what you want for, from the game. If you could freeform guard like you can in the, the kind of train driving mode, if you didn't have the scenario and you didn't have all the steps and everything you had to go to, if you could just wing it and do this and do that and actually not wing it, but sort of play freely with it, um, as opposed to having to follow all the all the scenario steps, I think that would be pretty, pretty cool. Um... Should we have a guard mode like we have a driving mode, an actual sort of normal uh, play? Yeah, quite possibly. Certainly wouldn't be a bad idea. Are they teasing some sort of multiplayer future thing? Are you going to have driver guard co-ops like you do on many of the Roblox games? Who knows? It could be a thing. It, it does feel to me that, you know, they, they've listened to the community, they've implemented this guard feature, and it almost feels like it's, it almost feels like it's a little bit of a test. What are we doing now? The train has reached the end of its so we lock the doors and make sure all the passengers have departed the train. Uh, what's he going to get me to do? Remove the door key. Okay. Walk through the train and check there are no passengers on board. Okay, that's interesting. Everybody's off. 
that move to the rear cab. Oh, whacking myself on the seats as we go along. Leave the train. Close the cab door. Walk to station exit. Love it. Love it. So yeah, it's, it's certainly an interesting game mechanic. Um, it's, it's a feature that lots of people have requested and lots of people have wanted. I do wonder if it's kind of been introduced in this route as almost a test bed. Whether it's something we're going to see as standard in like... You know the standard timetable mode, whether you're going to be able to take over a train and guard it in the standard timetable mode, uh, just like you can drive it. I think that would be pretty awesome if we saw something like that. It's it's an interesting concept. <laughs> the coach bugging out there. It's an interesting concept, one that I'm I'm pleased to see in the game. But yeah, I'm just interested to see how this develops and how it how it goes forward. Anyway, there we go, guys. Guarding a train in Train Seawell 3 on the Glossop line. Um, if guarding's your thing, definitely go and check it out. It is one of the scenarios in there. Um, it's I, I think it gets boring pretty quickly, but it's something different, and we're all up for something different and new game mechanics. If you want to see my full route review on the Glossop line, do go and check that. That will be out on the channel. And we've also got a couple of route learning videos um, over the route as well, so you should be able to drive it completely hudless. Anyway guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button. Also consider subscribing, that would be brilliant. If you're interested in real life railways, train sim, aviation, anything like that, then you can join our very friendly Discord community and you will find a link in the description um, to that. Thank you very much for watching guys. Hope to see you in another video very soon.